everybody and welcome back to Akshita's recipes. I know I've been away from the scene for a long time. Uh, as many of you who have been following me regularly know, I was on holiday with my family. We had gone to Australia and we had a lovely time. I will be uploading my vlogs uh, and I have a whole list of recipes that are coming up on my channel. So stay tuned to Akshita's recipes. Also go and check all the old recipes that are there on my channel. I have more than 250 recipes and vlogs. So coming to today's recipe, it's a very healthy dal soup recipe. Now with the heat that's going on in our city, you know, sometimes you don't want to have a full meal, especially in the evenings, you feel like having something very light. So today I'm going to be showing you this dal soup, which is made out of tur dal basically, but I have incorporated a lot of vegetables into this soup. Like I've added dudi, cauliflower, uh, carrots, you can add in French beans or whatever other vegetables you are looking for. You can get your family members to have all these veggies and this soup is so light and so delicious. Plus it has the tur dal which adds the protein factor to uh, the soup too. So I hope you like today's recipe and if you do then don't forget to give this recipe a big like. For those of you who haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button that you see below the video and uh, help me reach the 4k mark. I am just a few subscribers away from that so if you hit that red subscribe button you will help me reach my 4000 subscriber mark and um, uh, thank you for watching all my recipes and I love all the comments that I've been receiving from all of you thank you so much and uh, let's get ahead with today's recipe it's simple and it's delicious and very very healthy too so let's get started so friends, let's start by the ingredients that we're going to use for this healthy dal soup. Now I'm using about half a cup of tur dal which I washed and soaked for 10 minutes. This is one cup of dudi or bottle good or loki, one cup of cauliflower florets along with the cauliflower leaves. This is one carrot which I've diced in circles, half of a medium sized onion, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, a few curry leaves, some turmeric powder, some pepper powder. Now in a pressure pan, I'm heating about one tablespoon of olive oil. To that, I'm adding the coarsely ground ginger garlic paste. I've used about half an inch of ginger and about three to four small cloves of garlic. So we're going to just saute this well. Next goes in our diced onion. You can use red on the red onion or the white onion, whichever is easily available to you. Now in addition to this, uh, I'm going to be adding a few curry leaves because it gives a very nice flavor. Now I have used these vegetables which I had handy at home. You can use any vegetable of your choice. So here I'm adding the carrots. You can add French beans, you can add broccoli, you can add uh, green peas, potato, whatever you like in your soup. Now I'm going to be adding the cauliflower florets. I've soaked the cauliflower about for 10 minutes in salt water, washed it thoroughly and then uh, removed the florets or cut up the florets into tiny uh, cubes. Now this soup will be just enough for four people. If you want to make it just for two people, then just, uh, you know, make half the quantity. Or you can make it and just store it in your refrigerator and have it whenever you like. Now I'm adding the dudi or the loki. This is a nice way of getting your family to eat all vegetables. I mean, which, you know, they normally don't like to eat in a vegetable form. So give it to them in the soup form. Now I'm adding about one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder. I'm also adding some red chili powder to make it a little bit spicy. And a little bit of uh, cumin powder and coriander powder. Now this is optional, but it does make the soup uh, very, very tasty. So just one fourth teaspoon of turmeric, one fourth teaspoon of uh cumin, 1 4 teaspoon of red chilli powder, 1 4 teaspoon of uh, coriander powder and the pepper powder too. Now I am going to be adding this soaked tur dal. It is important to soak the tur dal because then it cooks better. And now I'm just going to be adding double the quantity of water. That's why I've used half a cup. So I'm going to be using one cup of water. 
And now we're just going to uh, mix up everything well. Season it with salt. Here I'm using pink Himalayan salt. So according to taste, I'm using about one teaspoon of salt roughly. Mix everything well. And now we're going to pressure cook this for one whistle on high and then just simmer it for about 8 to 10 minutes. And then once your cooker has completely cooled down and the ingredients inside have completely cooled down, it will look like this. And now all we're going to do is use a hand mixer or a blender and make it into a very, very smooth consistency. And then it will look like this. Now we're going to add some more water because we don't want a very thick soup. So I'm adding about two cups of water. And after tasting it, you can add salt according to uh, how much ever you require. Give it a mix. This soup is a little on the thicker side because of the dal. And now I'm adding the pepper powder. I'm using about half a teaspoon. You can add it as per your taste or if you don't like the taste of pepper, you can completely just drop the pepper part. But it does add a lovely flavor. Now we're going to simmer this for about two to three minutes till everything comes together well. And like I said, we, you know, if you don't want a very thick soup, you can add a little more water. Now I'm also adding a little bit of red chili flakes. This is optional completely, but we do like our food a little spicy at my place. So I have added the red chili flakes. You can also add some Italian herbs, some oregano. It's all up to you just to make the taste uh, soup delicious and tasty. And believe me, friends, this is so filling that you don't really need to have a meal. You can just have the soup. Now, I make the croutons in a very healthy way. I don't deep fry my croutons. What I do is I take about four slices of brown bread and I cut them into small cubes. I get about 12 cubes from each a slice of bread and then I just take about one tablespoon of olive oil in a pan and I just toss these cubes till they become nice and golden brown. So this is such a healthy way. You don't have to deep fry it at all. And after simmering it and letting it come to room temperature, your soup is all ready. Just garnish it with some coriander and just add some croutons and your delicious soup is all ready. This is a complete meal, friends, and you can have how many bowls you want till you're nice and full and you don't need to have an actual meal. So I hope you like today's healthy dal soup recipe. I hope you try it out. And if you like it, then don't forget to let me know in the comments box below what other vegetables you in incorporated in your soup what other ingredients you added i love hearing comments from all of you and i get so many tips from all of you who keep telling me how you all make your uh, dishes and what you all add and friends don't forget to subscribe to my channel i need a few more subscribers to reach the 4k mark so do help me by hitting the red subscribe button once you have hit the red subscribe button do not forget to click the bell because that way you will get notifications whenever I upload a vlog or a new recipe. You will get a notification that Akshita has put up a new vlog or a recipe and you can check out my video. Please do visit my channel. I have more than 250 recipes and I have made playlists. There are Maharashtrian recipes, Goan recipes, Christmas recipes, Easter egg recipes, breakfast items, healthy recipes. And lots of vlogs on how I clean my kitchen and other vlogs that I have come up with. So, uh, if you go to my channel on my homepage, you will see something called playlists. Just click on them and all the playlists will open so you can choose whatever you're looking for. And like I said before, stay tuned. I have loads and loads of recipes and uh, coming up and lots of vlogs about my Australia holiday. I will be putting them all together and you can enjoy uh, by seeing what I really did on my vacation. It was fabulous. So thank you friends for first of all stopping by at my channel for those of you who are new. Welcome to Akshita's recipes. I hope you stick around and uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Do share my videos with family and friends. So friends, I'll catch you in my next video. This is Akshita saying thank you so much. Take care. Have a great day. Bye.